My dear brothers and sisters, we've heard of the age-old cliché, the family that prays together stays together. But time after time I've mentioned in my sermons, I feel the reverse is true. It's only a family that stays together that will pray together. And perhaps this has come about in this pandemic because we can find more and more families spending a lot more time now in each other's company than they were otherwise. And maybe this is the best time, the best opportunity to bring back for those of us who have forgotten it, the family prayer, namely the rosary. It's always so heartening to hear how so many families, either before dinner or after dinner or sometime during the day, will sit together and will pray the rosary as a family. I always love when young people come up to me and say, Father, can we pray the rosary together? It is indeed very heartening. Because this prayer, my dear brothers and sisters, we must remember, even though we consider it to be a Marian prayer, is Christocentric. Because it reflects so much on the life and the various events of Jesus. And therefore, this is a prayer, even though of Mary, directed to our Lord. Why must we pray the rosary? Or why must we pray? Our first reading from the Acts of the Apostles tells us so beautifully, after the ascension, all these apostles went to the upper room and they prayed together and Mary was there with them. In other words, Mary journeys with us in our prayer, which is always directed to her son, Jesus. Our responsorial psalm today is the Magnificat. It is the hymn of praise that Mary gave to God in spite of her being just an ordinary best girl, being chosen to be the mother of the Savior. And our gospel today explains to us so beautifully and simply the whole episode of the, of the Annunciation when Gabriel came and announced the good news to Mary. And we are told some important things here. The greeting first of all, the Lord is with you. An assurance the Lord accompanies us and is at our side and in our midst right through our lives. Then we are told later on, for nothing is impossible to God. For those of us who have faith in God, we must believe that He makes all things possible. And at the end, the great fiat of Mary, I am the handmaid of the Lord, let what you have said be done to me. In other words, yes to God's will. I pray that each one of us keep Mary as a role model for our own lives, of what it means to submit our lives to God's plan, to obedient to be obedient to him and to continually say yes to whatever he asks of us i pray through the intercession of our lady of the rosary each of us may be led to the care and protection of jesus our savior God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.